Let's build a radio button group like this one that switches between synths and mutes any synth that isn't active. Inside, it will look like this. Let's go. To start, tap on the pencil to go into canvas edit mode. Let's start by creating a radio button group. I'm going to go ahead and tap on the radio button group and choose the four button group and add a button since we have five synths. Let's go ahead and add each of our synths. Before we add any actions, I'm just going to go ahead and size this the way I want it. Now we go back in, tap on the plus sign next to add station. We're going to choose select. This is the action that's going to be taken when the radio button is selected. We will start with enable disable MIDI destination. Now we're going to click on target. If we had multiple MIDI controllers, each MIDI controller would be shown. And then when you tap on a MIDI controller, you see all the destinations that it is connected to. We're going to choose add station. And as the action, we are going to choose switch. Because we are going to switch between the different destinations. I'm going to add another select action. We are going to use the mute unmute audio source action. We are going to target our add station and we are going to unmute. So what this means is that when the radio button is selected, we enable the add station as a destination of the Launchpad X and we unmute the add station. Now we're gonna go into reorder mode so that we can add a deselect action. And what we are going to do is use mute unmute audio source and we are going to choose mute. Now what this setup means is that we enable the add station when it's selected and we unmute it. And when it becomes deselected, it becomes muted. This way, every time we switch away from a synth, it becomes muted, which reduces the amount of CPU being used by all the synths. To make creating the radio button easier, we can long press on select and copy those two actions, and then long press down here and paste the actions that we just copied. And now we're just going to change the targets. So we are now targeting Animog. And I'm going to change the target for the mute action. And I'm going to go back and copy the mute add station, long press on select, paste it. And now I just have to remember that this is for Animog. And you can repeat that for each of the synths. You should end up with something that looks like this. Tap on the pencil to leave canvas edit mode. And now watch the buttons down at the bottom of the screen and we'll see that when we switch to add station, it becomes unmuted and all of the other synths are off or muted.
And if you look at the CPU indicator, you'll see that it's quite low compared to what would happen if we had all of the synths on at the same time. This is a really handy way to set things up when you're only going to be using one synth at a time, which is what I do when I am doing audio clip recording.